What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Dragon Quest 8! No alchemy run. Yeah, it's time to do some uh, monster arena fighting with some uh, special teams that we have here that I've constructed. Uh, I'm going to show off uh, four of them right now. Uh, I'll show off a few more uh, tomorrow, the next uh, episode. Um, but for now, yeah, just four is fine. Uh, do I have enough money to do this? Let's see. Yeah, I do. Anyways, uh, yeah, alright. Now the uh, special monster teams, you can construct them, there's several combinations of them, but there's others that are also uh, member specific, which I'm going to show off in a few seconds here. I'll just do rank uh, G because I want to pretty much plow through all these. Cool. So I guess it's free if you're already, already, already the champion. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know that. This is gonna be hilarious. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. let's give the team owners a big hand. Yeah, yeah. So that is the monster team. So yeah, that's Ord and Spike, the dynamic duo. It's just like uh what when you're in the uh Dragon Graveyard with uh what was it Red Horde and Blue Fang or something like that? Yeah, so you can get copy, you can get pallet swaps of them, and you can, well, they have them do the same thing to the enemies. So that's pretty cool. All right. So let's see what the dynamic duo can do. I also forget what they, what exactly they can do. I usually just, I usually don't really care, but I mean, whatever. I think the special attack is uh, the exact same thing that they can do to you in the uh, Dragon Graveyard, so. Or the same thing that Red Horn and Blue Fang can do to the Dragon Graveyard. Yeah, Sapper Slapper, okay. Huh. Oh, so it does the thing where uh, it will debuff your enemy. As well as, uh, do a lot of damage. It takes both uh, both members to do that. Huh, interesting. Cool. Well, I guess I didn't know that. The fans are going absolutely wild. The team in the red book. Okay, enough. You get it. It's a campaign of pain. That's pretty much all there is to it with these uh, specialized monster teams. Um, there's one called My Three Golems, which uh, I can't get right now, but I will be able to later on. And that's pretty much the most that's pretty much the most obscene one. You turn into a giant golem and you restore your, all of your hit points like every round, or after you win. Like you'll be able to transform like. Very randomly at the uh, start of a fight. But when you do transform, you get all your hit points back, in the, and it has uh, 999 hit points. Um, to get that, you need, uh, what's his name? Uh, go uh, the, uh, the golem, the gold man, and, the, uh, and a stone man type enemy. Type uh, mo of uh, in infamous monster, which... We can't quite get now, but we will be able to get it much later on, so, yeah. Ladies, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the final round. In the red corner. In the blue corner. Down into the pit, right? All right, whatever. Let's just take these guys down. <laughs> there are a few more infamous monsters that we'll plan on uh, discovering. I want to try and discover almost uh, pretty much every infamous monster there is to discover in the game. I do want to do that 100% uh, on that. Same thing with the overworld treasure trap. Uh, yeah, with the overworld treasure. Um, I'll be able to do that kind of stuff very soon. Uh, but not now, obviously. But yeah, what I'll do is I'll take the next couple videos, this one and the next one, to uh, show off a few of these monster teams. May as well.
Yeah, they can do the death moves pretty much whenever they want. It's pretty awesome. Boom. Yay, that was awesome. We retained our title. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Mori. <laughs> I would challenge rank S with these uh, teams, but I want to get through three fights that I know I can win this way I can demonstrate the uh, death moves. So, yeah. Alright, let me go ahead and reorg reorganize these guys. Now, if you have Steropes and Brontes, you have a uh, you have a thing called two eyes, which also does a sapper slapper as a uh, death move. So that's pretty badass. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna really show that off because you already saw what sapper slapper does. So yeah, I will put all slimes in my next fight and show that off. So when you when you uh have all slimes in the party not only well this is with cure and healer which gives you slime therapy which will uh, cast multi heals a death move which if you use it in battle it will also uh, heal your players too um, but if you have all slimes in your party all of your hit points are doubled which is amazing so you can kind of get through some higher ranks this way also like if you're struggling with rank C like you could probably have like Hori there and then have uh, and, and just have healer it's a heal slime there and you'll be able to heal Hori pretty easily and I think he, I think healer has a uh, what do you call it uh, heal more so that's pretty awesome uh, let's see and yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, demonstrate the other team here but I'm not gonna demonstrate two eyes or uh, sign therapy because I don't feel like it's necessary. Oh, jeez, no. Rank S would be, no, that's not gonna happen. We, we, we would fall quickly in rank S. Into rank G again. I am sure. Cool. Awesome. Show all these guys how it's done. <laughs> it's almost like it's almost like we're putting on a uh, clinic for these guys. It's like here, here's how to do this, guys. Yeah. So if you have, uh, so if all of your uh, members of your monster team have swords, you'll become the Blade Runners, and you'll do a, uh, and I think you'll do a death move that. Probably revolves around using your swords. Let's go ahead and see what these guys can do. Oh, triple swords. Alright, nice. Yes, yeah, so they all do like one big critical hit on your uh, on one enemy there. That's pretty badass. That's awesome. That's actually alright because it's a good way to fight bosses. You call in your monster team with blade runners and uh, hopefully they'll do the uh, triple swords on the boss a couple times and there you go. Mm. Yeah, I love the strategy of the uh, monster arena teams in this game. I love how you can incorporate them into regular fights and replace the iron eyes spell. Which is a good spell. I mean, I used it. You saw me use it in Dragon Warrior Three, but I think it's just it's way more relevant here because you're using one. You're using your team instead of just like standing still and like letting the enemy not hit you. You know, that was really quick. <laughs> Prepare 
It's the moment you've all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I said, there's other uh, theme type teams also, and other uh, specific monster teams. Uh, I don't think you need. Let's see. I think there's another. Uh, I think there's another uh, Gigantes that you can get. You can stir up Bronte, uh, Bronte, and someone else. I forget who though. But either way, all you need is two of them to get two eyes. So you could have those two and then like a healing guy and then there you go, that'll be... That makes a decent monster team. Like those two and like Octorian, you can have a nice uh, monster team there. Alright, well that does it for this episode of Dragon Quest VIII. Next time I will show off some more monster teams and then after that we'll continue on with the story. This is the big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.